Good morning, guys. The time is 2.22 a.m. That's an angel number. And I'm back at it with another Vita Tenet video. I look really crazy right now. With this lighting, I see my dark spot perfectly. Anyway, neither here nor there. <laughs> I have a sign in at 4.08, I think it is. So I have like 30 minutes before I need to leave the house and I've done nothing. I just woke up, brushed my teeth. I have to wash my face still. I packed last night. I just made some coffee. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready and I'll see y'all probably when I get to the employee parking lot. I have two legs today, but we'll talk about it when I get to the airport. Y'all, so I left the house a little bit late. <laughs> my job at the airport in the parking lot now. Waiting on the buses in the car because I can kind of see when they pull up. So I left the house a little bit late, like right on time. But I don't, when I'm leaving on time, I feel like I'm late. Anyway, y'all, tell me why I got pulled over. I have never in the four and a half-ish years I've been flying, I have never been pulled over while going to the airport. And so, yeah, I got pulled over. Thankfully, the cop, he came up. He, he was taking his time getting out the car. So in my head, I'm like, sir, please just hurry up because we have to get this on and pop it so I can rush in speed to the airport now that I'm finna sit here and get this ticket. He came up after like two, maybe a minute and a half, two minutes, and he asked for my license and uh, insurance. So I was like, yeah, I got it. My license is in the trunk. Can I grab it real quick? He was like, you're on the way to the airport. Thank God I had the scarf on the uniform. He was like, you know what? I'm gonna let you go. Just, you know, slow down. You're going like 50 and a 30. And I'm like, I got you. Sorry, sir. I definitely slowed down, but then I sped 90 all the way to the airport. <laughs> So I don't know if I learned my lesson, but I didn't get that ticket. So yay, turn up. We have two legs today. We go from Dallas to Miami. This is a bus. Hold on. My car keys on the employee bus. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm gonna hit y'all up. Whatever I get to the night. Really quick, we hate this plane because this is the Boeing 737 and look at all these little compartments. This is so unnecessary. The girl I'm flying with, she made a very much so true statement. They just combined the worst part of the Airbus with the Boeing. Was like why welcome why? To your hello everybody i am back finally look at my head look at the way it's looking but that's okay because it's been a long day of work i've worked out i've almost died from loss of breath because i think i'm getting sick or i already am i don't know what's going on Either way, let me show y'all this little outfit my friend got me for christmas it's giving grown ish you know housewife with some wine but i ain't got no wine vibes like look at me uh i'm so cute and it the color i really do love the color the most but let's get into the day what a long day i had i am currently in atlanta georgia we had two legs today my sign in was at 408 and we went from Dallas to Miami, sat for two and a half hours, and then came to Atlanta. Now, my day started well before I got to the airport at 4 8 in the morning because I got stopped by the police at like 3.15 on the way to the airport. And thankfully, y'all, the man came up. First off, he was saying his time, and I'm like, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to speed off just so I can get to work after he gave me this ticket. So he's taking his sweet time getting out the car. So by the time he did, thank you, sweet baby Jesus, I had my scarf on. Because I feel like that's the identifier with people, like, knowing I'm in uniform. It's always a scarf because it's a bit dramatic and big, you know? So, he comes up to the car. He's like, you were going 50 and 30, license registration. I'm like, yeah, my license is in the trunk. Do you mind if I get out and grab it real quick? He was like, you're going to the airport? I was like, yeah. He was like, you know what? Like you were, you were going real fast. He was like, you know, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you go ahead and go. But you know, slow down. I was like, officer, say less. Say less. I got you. So I did do the speed limit to the highway, and then I booked it 90 all the way to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> so fast forward, get to the airport, we park, and I remember rushing to the bus at one point. So I remember. My bags was already stacked up outside my car. And so I'm like, oh, here's the bus, I gotta go. So I hop out the car, I grab my, my bags, and you know, I'm wobbling, running to the bus with all my luggage. Cool, I remember locking the door. Cool, get on the employee shuttle. And you know, I'm just trying to make sure my bags don't fall over, minding my own business. 
then I get to the terminal. Now, if you have a 4 a.m. van time in DFW, TSA is not open unless you're in like terminal D and C. And so the employee parking lot I park in, I either come in A or B or D. And I, there was no point in me going to D because the, we were leaving at a terminal C. So I got to the TSA and it was closed. And so we're just hanging out, me and some random other crew members. We're just sitting there talking or whatever. And I realized like, yo, you don't have your keys. Crap, where are your keys? So I'm like, oh crap, I probably left them on the bus. Sure enough, sure enough, I end up asking the crew members who were lined up waiting to go through TSA. I was like, hey guys, like, do y'all know what happens if you lose something on the bus? Like, keys, will, they, will you get it back? Like, what will happen? And a girl, she was like, yeah, I've done this all the time. Like, I've done it multiple times. They'll get it back to you. Just call, like, email the lost and found and do a, like, a lost and found ticket for DFW. And then try and call the offices or whatever. So I tried to call the office and they were closed, obviously, at 4.50 in the morning. They were closed. I end up filling out all that. Then I get to the aircraft. I end up telling my crew what happens and one of the girls like, oh, well, you know, your car gets stolen. That'll be bad. I'm like, wait a minute. My car gets stolen stolen i can get a brand new car and the car is paid off because insurance can't take care of it so it's kind of a win-win yes i'm gonna have a ridiculously high car note but i'm already paying a ridiculously high car note for a car that i'm just bleh about like because i don't know if you guys know i had to get a new car last this past year when my car was like eight payments from being paid off so it, was, it wasn't even eight, I think it was like six payments from being paid off. I had to get a new car because the transmission went out. If you didn't know, if your transmission goes out, you might as well get a new car. Anyways, fast forward. So, if my car is stolen, like, that's that's a win-win for me. Fast forward, we get to Miami, and I'm calling all these numbers, and they end up finding my, my car keys. So, that's really good. I'm really happy. I do want to say, though, this job, like, just reflecting on all that 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 happened this morning this job has really mellowed me out because at one point in time i would be a wreck like in a panic or freaking out or just pissed either about getting stopped or losing my car keys but at this point it's just like yo what can you do ty like what can you do there's no like you getting mad and being grumpy is not going to do anything for anybody including yourself so like that was the point so i was really in a chill vibe all morning considering everything that happened like i wasn't mad or anything like anyway we get to atlanta and apparently the madam vp is in atlanta so traffic was bad getting to the hotel but that's fine i went and i worked out and y'all i think i'm getting sick because y'all hear this <laughs> it's like it's like i can it's so shallow i can only shallow breathe like I was running and I don't know first off it's day one and I start a new day one of working out every month or you know every couple months because I'll stop working out moral of the story though I cannot breathe I don't know what's going on but I don't like it guys I really don't and it's not comfortable brought my computer because I said to myself this is gonna be a cozy layovers these two layovers that I have because it's cold outside so we're gonna stay inside and that's completely fine with me. I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna stay inside the room. Cause they're not that long anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I brought food. I brought loaded baked potato soup because, or loaded potato soup because it's kind of chilly. So it, it matches the vibes. Hey guys, it's day two and this is the second leg. I am in Dallas. We did not have time for me to go and get my car keys because first off, we got to the airport in Atlanta, everything cool. So we're on the taxiway. We end up having to wait for 20 minutes because there's so much traffic in Dallas. So we had to wait on the tarmac for 20 minutes before we could take off. Then once we got to Dallas, we again had to wait on the tarmac again for like another 20 minutes for the plane that was at our gate to move. I'm looking to make sure like nobody's coming on. Um, having said that, I did not have time to go get my keys and it's in lost and found in a terminal that's literally not attached to any other part of the airport and it's outside of security on top of that. So I didn't have time to go get my keys. I'll go get them tomorrow. Luckily we get back super early. So we get back at like 11.30 in the morning. 
so there for sure will be somebody there and I love that for me. Now we're about to go to Seattle. It's blocked at 4.43, but I think it'll be around four hours. I haven't looked yet. We're waiting for our other two flight attendants. Y'all, the vibe is weird. Like, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all watching this, y'all watch other flight attendant videos. You know, every crew that you come in contact with, they're not your vibe or they're not, they're not your vibe, you know? And so, I've flown with the number one. She's super junior, super nice. She's an older lady. The other two girls, they're buddy bitters, and the vibe is just a tad bit off. Like, one of the girls, she's nice. The other one is like, like, you ain't gonna speak to me. I ain't wake up next to you, you ain't gonna speak to me. That's fine, but I don't know. I'm just gonna mind my business back here and read my book, and I'm gonna mind my business, okay? In my little corner. In my little corner, and we're on a 321. So literally, in my little corner with my jump seat, okay? Other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the galley. These tights, guys, I got some tights, they're fleece line. Let me show y'all, they look really good, actually. These are like skin tone flesh tights for like people of the melanated nature. And so they look so, that just made it worse. They look, where am I at? Come on, guys. They look so good. But it's like I have been sagging this whole time. Like, but I'm gonna go ahead and set up the galley. And I'll get to y'all when we get to Seattle. I'm in Seattle now. And look at my view. It's not, I mean, this is my favorite hotel, no doubt. But check out my view. It's so pretty. There's the water and there's the other side of the hotel. <laughs> but let me tell y'all about my day. These pilots, not even these pilots, this captain. This captain, that's all I'll say is this captain. So, yeah, we were delayed. I'm pretty sure I told y'all this. We were delayed coming in from Atlanta. And, uh, yeah, we were delayed coming in from Atlanta. So we eventually got to the plane. We were already delayed, though, getting to the plane. Like, we were late because of our inbound flight. Two of the flight attendants went to go get food. Is that somebody out there swimming? Or is that an animal? Bro, I gotta be tripping. Wait a minute, y'all. I thought I saw somebody out there. Like, what is going on? It's some type of, okay, okay. I think they're birds. I think I'm seeing birds. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm seeing birds. Anyways, y'all, tell me why. I get to the back galley after I'm talking to y'all. I'm getting ready to set everything up. And I pull out the trash cart. It's completely full. And so I'm like, oh, this is a four-hour flight. We can't. There's no way we're going on a four-hour flight with the full trash cart and then still have to do the four-hour flight. I call the number one. I ask her, hey, can you go ahead and let them know? Either let a gate agent, the pilots, or message in our whatever app. Let them know we need this trash taken out or whatever. And so she says, okay, I got you. Cool. So she calls me back. She's like, well, the pilots, they don't want to wait on catering or anybody to come get it because they don't want to delay the flight or they don't want to take the delay. Y'all, do you know how pissed I was? Like, what the hell do you mean you don't want to take the... F what do you mean you don't want to take the delay? So you expect me to sit in the back of this plane full of trash in the galley or either close down one of the back labs because it's full of trash because, yeah, there's no room for us to put all this dog on trash. I was like, girl, no, mm-mm. Well, tell them not to close the door. I'll wheel the trash cart up to the front. And honestly, if nobody wants to take it, then I'll put it in the flight deck with the pilots because this is outrageous. So she's laughing at me. She's like, all right, cool. I, I end up going up to the front, rolling the, the thing up to the front of <laughs> of the cabin, full flight. I have made an announcement so everybody look. Go ahead and watch your elbows because I'm coming through with the car, so just watch your elbows and everything. Mind you, we are already late getting off the gate. The gate is just this up there, and now here I come with the trash cart. And I'm like, hmm, somebody didn't do their job today because this thing is full of trash. And I was like, I don't think anybody wants this back there. And I'm sure the flight deck don't want it in the front with them. Okay, I didn't say that, but I should have said that loud enough because apparently when I was up in the front, or when I was like doing the trash thing with the gate agent. This was the captain. Ten, like back here is the door. This was him. Apparently that's what he was doing when I was, that's a, 
that's a booty. <laughs> Apparently that's what he was doing when I was talking to the gate agent trying to empty the trash or whatever. And I'm just like, sir, what is the rush? First off, we're going to Seattle. Nobody has connections. Why don't you want to take the delay? We're already delayed and it's already put on us because our inbound flight. So like, what's really the problem here? Yeah, he, he, not, like, I don't know. Yeah, like now that I read, think about it and if I was like a normal person not in not a flight attendant or in that specific field it'd be like why are you so mad like why were y'all irritated but it's just like the gall and the nerve because like sir you want me to be in this back Cali for four hours full of trash because you don't want to delay what like what has you such in a rush to get to Seattle? So when the girls I'm flying with, she was like, yeah, he must got a second family up there, a second secret family up there. I died, I laughed. He did all that just for us to still leave late, but arrive early. And I'm just like, sir, how do you feel? Are you stupid? Anyway, that was my day. The time is 2.22. I'm about to go downstairs and work out. This gym is beyond beautiful. I'm gonna bring y'all with me on the actual camera. You know that case that was trending on TikTok, the pink iPhone case that looks, makes the phone look pink? I got the white one. It's so cute. Basically, I'm gonna go work out. <laughs> I'm listening. Well, no, I'm not. I'm kind of cold. I'm gonna run up to my room though, take a shower, get as warm as possible. I'll see y'all when I'm done with that. Hey guys, so it's 8.31 Seattle time and it feels every bit of 11 o'clock, which is East Coast time, which is what I was on yesterday. And I woke up technically today at four something East Coast time, which is three something. Dallas time, so I'm tired. And if you look at my eyes, you see the tired. I did not edit <laughs> at all. I read this book, I started on the plane. I watched The Color Purple, I watched Holiday Baking Championships. Like your girl has just been relaxing, okay? I'm so tired. I'm gonna go ahead and like clean off the bed of all the items I have not used since I've gotten here. And I'm gonna shut the lights down and really try and take a nap. More than a nap, we're gonna go to sleep. And Cause my van, my show is, I don't know where my key, my key is. I think it's at, cause I know it's at five something Dallas time. So I think it's like at three something. I don't know, I gotta wake up at three so Ah, uh, I'll see y'all in the morning. Really quick guys. Like, why is my earliest alarm at 2 a.m.? And for tomorrow, my alarm is set for 2.50 and 3 o'clock. Like, who has alarms? I can't even talk. I'm so tired. That's all. That was, that was the tweet. That was the question. Good morning, guys. It's day three. Go home day. I have one leg home. And I'm so tired. I feel like I really didn't sleep. Like, you know how sometimes you, like... You'll wake up and you wonder if he was even asleep. I had one of those nights and I ended up waking up like an hour early. So I was just reading because I couldn't go back to sleep. My eyes are burning, I need coffee. Just trying to make sure that I have everything and it's looking like I do. I always take the um, room key with me just in case I have to run back into the room if I remember I forgot something. I'm gonna go ahead and go downstairs and I'll see y'all. Probably when I get to Dallas, I want like home. And I still have the mission of getting my keys. Y'all, I got my car keys. <laughs> it was touch and go for a minute, but they found them. And I love that for me. But yeah, I'll let y'all know. We'll talk. We'll talk when I get to the car. Okay, guys. So it's a couple days later, and I just got back from my commute from Louisiana. I have a trip tomorrow. Yeah. So I just want to say this a brief or a final synopsis of the whole trip that I just got off of. Nothing pulls a crew together faster than some pilots being, mm, that's one. Two, a lot of people lose stuff in the airport, like specifically DFW airport. When I went to the lost and found, they had literally buckets and buckets and buckets of keys alone for every single day. 
wallets, all that, uh, wa wallets for separate buckets. Like it's crazy how much stuff people lose. And yeah, so just know if you lose it, not on the airplane at least, because I have no idea how, if gate agents really take stuff to lost and found. I don't know how their system works or anything, but at least if you lose it in the airport, somebody will pick it up and bring it to lost and found. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, bye.